The Sera family stands firm that there is foul play in the death of 23-year-old flight attendant Christine. Their camp rejected the PNP Crime Laboratory's medical legal report, which concluded that Christine died of ruptured aortic aneurysm due to an enlarged heart. As proof, they showed Christine's annual physical exam, indicating she was healthy and had no signs of hypertension. The family's legal counsel insists that if Christine were sick, she would not have been able to fly four times a day for her work. The PAL medical examination states, heart normal, no hypertension. So, walang uh, ebidensya na may enlarged heart. Palagay namin, cover up na naman dito. They also claimed that the report cannot be considered an autopsy at all because only the visceral organs were examined. The family also raised doubts that the organs were indeed Christine's as they did not give the PNP Crime Laboratory any consent. With this, the Desera camp demands a DNA test on the specimen and organs used. We do not know if these specimens are really part of the body organs of the late Christine. If we need to exhume the body, let's exhume the body so we can compare the DNA on her arms, on her legs, with the DNA of the alleged organs. The Desera camp claims there is still a possibility of rape even if neither semen nor drug was found. The Supreme Court has also ruled that a mere insertion of a finger into the genitals of a woman constitutes rape under Republic Act 8353, whether or not there is semen or drugs. So, naniniwala ang Desera family na there is more than sufficient probable cause. Christine's mother, Sharon, says she will not be able to move on from her daughter's death until justice is served. I'm just knocking at their, at their heart. Kung may konsensya pa kayo, magsabi kayo ng totoo. The Desera camp will be reviewing CCTV footage three days before and after the incident to identify more people who should be included in the case. We want to get to the bottom of this. Mga identities ng sa Roma 2007, sino ba sila para masama namin sa kaso? Para malaman natin sino talagang lumabas, pasok doon. The next preliminary hearing into the case is set on February 3. For News 5, Ryan Ang, We Are One News.